This morning, tens of thousands of LG&E customers are still without power, but help is on the way. Our Shaquille Lord is live at the Expo Center where Shaq crews are getting ready to head out this morning. Yeah, that's exactly right, Carrie. Good morning. In less than an hour from now, around 700 line workers will be heading out to hopefully restore power. At last check, according to LG&E, customers, there are around 79,000 customers, LG&E and KU customers without power. Now, right behind me is the Mobile Command Center, and this is where a good bit of crews will be gathering this morning to get their assignments. Now, the damage caused by yesterday's storm and high winds impacted around 120,000 LG&E and KU customers in total. Crews say they're working to respond to nearly 1,000 reports of downed wires. Now, that's where these additional crews are going to really come into, uh, come really give a helping hand as crews try to restore uh, as much power to customers as possible. So what's going to happen is around 7 o'clock or so, they'll gather here, they'll get their assignment, they'll get their supplies, and they'll head on out. Now, I've been checking the outage map on LG&E uh, continuously. At last check, as I mentioned before, 79,000 customers, LG&E and KU customers are without power, specifically Jefferson County, around 38,000. We have more information. Just head over to our, our website, WLKY.com, or download our free mobile app to keep up to date on the work that's being happening, that's being uh, done in your area. For right now, reporting live at the Kentucky Expo Center this morning, I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News, back to you.